I always knew that I wanted to do something in fashion. I wanted to have my own company. I just didn't know those two would align when I was 22 years old. I did a lot of research in the beginning to see what are my competitors and if there were competitors, how am I going to be better? I'm Amy Levin, I'm 26, and I'm the founder of College Fashionista. College Fashionista is a college trend reporting website that I launched during my senior year at Indiana University, and it focuses on street style fashion at college campuses all around the world. I had studied abroad in London and was really noticing the influence of street style fashion on the industry and how designers were using what was happening on the street to determine their inspiration for their collections. I came back to Bloomington, Indiana, and I was really noticing how college students were influencers and trendsetters. I started documenting what was happening, created a blog. Friends at other campuses were like, this would be great at our school. That led me to start to think about how I could take my personal blog into an actual website in business. My business partners are actually my siblings, which is something a lot of people don't know. There's four of us, and we each kind of have our own division within the company. I swear when our family's together, it's always college fashionista all the time. Sometimes we have to be like, stop, no business doc. Social media played a huge role in being able to expand so quickly. One student in Scotland, University of St. Andrews, reached out. We heard about this site, we want to report. Now it's a whole internship program and we take applications and when they leave their internship with us, they have a portfolio. Our interns are called Style Gurus. You're a writer at UCLA and you're taking each week a street style photograph and then writing an editorial feature. So it's all different types of advice written by college students for college students. It's always interesting to hear what people's story is and what their major is and you know how that's reflective of their outfit. My personal style now, I'd say, is it's a lot more minimal. It's funny because in college, each year I had a really unique style and I think it was reflective of who I was at that moment. But now I'm kind of enjoying the minimal thing. My favorite part about my job is the emails that I get from our style guru saying like college fashionista helped us get our first job or we had this opportunity to meet this person and giving them these experiences and opportunities they wouldn't have had keeps me going and keeps me motivated to want to make it a better and bigger brand. I'm always going to new markets, observing how college students are interacting, what they're wearing, what brands they're drawn towards. We expanded in South America, so I was in Brazil. I'm going to Paris next week, so it's always crazy and really exciting, and it's something that I created, so that's what I think is the best part of it. Hi, I'm Amy, and you're watching Teen Vogue.